Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Boy, that was an email. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, that's a little better. I have a picture here. Does anybody know what this is a picture of? Dog. That's a dog. Have you ever been in a house or maybe even in your house? How many of you have a dog, by the way? Okay. So when you sit down to eat, what happens? The dog sits on the table since his his um intestines swell up. We have to lock him in his cage so he doesn't. Yeah. So the, but many times if we sit down to eat and there's a dog around, they sit there and they beg, right? Yeah. Okay. Do your do your parents take the food off of your table and give it to the dog? No. No. But what does the dog do? He, he, he keeps, keeps sitting there, right? He keeps begging, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and that's why. Whenever my sister drops food on the floor, my shadow, shadow hears it and stuff. Yeah. So he sits there because sometimes crumbs fall off the table and he gets some anyway, or maybe even there's a little bit left over and you sneak it down to him. Well, our gospel reading is a story kind of oh, like that. He took a warm, warm drink of my juice when we when we were eating when, when we took Lucas to on an adventure. Oh, so he, he likes your juice too, not just your food, huh? Okay, so you got to be careful with your juice. He likes everything. Okay, so <laughs> in in our gospel story, a gospel reading, it tells a story about Jesus had come to earth and he's stealing all kinds of people. All kinds of the Jewish people and even people from other nations came and wanted to be healed. And it tells a story about a woman who came up to Jesus and asked him to heal her daughter. And Jesus kind of ignored her. Well, she was pretty persistent and said, can you please heal my daughter? And Jesus said, well, should I take the food from the children because he had explained to her that his first mission was to the people of Israel, the Jews. And she was not a Jew. And he said, shall I take the food from the table of the children and give it to the dog? And she said, no. But even the dogs, just like in what we talked about earlier, sometimes get the crumbs off the table. <laughs> so this story is, is kind of interesting because even though Jesus was sent for the Jews, he had enough love for everybody. Not only the Jewish people, but everybody else, which includes us. So, let's remember that, and let's share that, that love, and that <coughs> with all of the people we know. Because Jesus has so much love. He came and died for us, that we can share with the Jews and with everybody else. So let's thank him for that. And so remember that as we are out and about in school and in our neighborhood. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for loving us, so much that you came to earth and, and died for us. Help us to have the courage and the faith and the strength to share that with everyone we meet, that they too may know and understand how much you love them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for coming up. Where you said the bulletin? No. Pastor has the bulletin?